Hey everyone, welcome to Margaret Being Margaret. I'm making a cup of tea in the kitchen I've decided I hate. I have had a very eventful week. Birthday week. Thank you so much for all the birthday wishes. The house is a disaster. And I, today's the first day that I have been here after I ran errands. Let me get my tea. My mind is going in a thousand directions. I put up a post on my uh, personal Facebook page today and thought I've got to be fair and share it with all of you too because I am having a moment of crisis. I share the good, I'm going to share the bad, even though it's not bad. So get the panic off the table. I'm in a foul mood, downright miserable, and it's the letdown. I know it is, and I'm tired, and I'm doing the basic crap, you know, of trying to get the house put together, and it's not going to be like I want it, so I'm pouting. Let me show you what I'm talking about, and then we'll go sit and talk. All right, kitchen. It's the little, it's, and it is, it's the little things. I mean, underneath the cabinet it does not fit a trash can. So I've got this big sweet thing here that's sitting out in the middle of nowhere, plus the recycle that's over there. Plus I haven't put my lock on the door yet. That should be today. I did go outside when I got home from my errands and cleaned off the deck that's here for now. They delivered the um, trash cans. Let me show you. They delivered the two trash cans. So I got all the recycling out and that looks better. So that's good. But I had to go run errands. I want to run errands. I am going to, this is not going to be fun. You're all going to stop following me because I can't dig up the happy Oh my God, I'm gonna make myself crazy. The snow is melting. The back, isn't that backyard gonna be gorgeous? They just put in over there, right there, the new septic, and they'll be putting in a well soon. But I have no room. I have no room. I'm tripping over myself. I'm playing poor me. Tell me to get over it, it's okay. Can't lift the top for the cure because it's under the cabinet. So I've come up with an idea. Just go with it. It's not terribly expensive, but I'm thinking that on this wall that is the back wall after you've come in, it's all just a flat wall. I put one 12 inch pantry. It still gives me plenty of walking room. It's still well over three feet. I'm putting in another one and it's going to go right next to it. So there's the first one, that's the plug. I'm going to put in a unit there where the plug will, will work, a two foot countertop on it. And another one of these is going right here. So this little unit will be here Monday. The other unit, big unit is sitting right there. I put that one together last night and I'm now on strike. What am I going to do with myself? I got three lights to go to the cellar. So I'll stop being such a baby about it and get down there. One of them's charging, the other ones I'll get to. I've got stuff all over the table still, but I have cleaned out the bedroom pretty well. Cleaned out, it's not cleaned out, but it's, not doesn't look anything near like it did. <laughs> I'm laughing because Parker doesn't know who I'm speaking to and she's in fight or flight mode thinking she's going to have to run. This is done. I put um, this, I screwed into the table, drilled holes. I did put that on the wall. I wasn't going to, but it was driving me nuts. So 
this is what I've got left, just those boxes, and they're staying. I will slowly open that after I get those two pantry units completed because what was the pantry right here that I told you I hated so much, the rest of this stuff will also go into those 12 inch deep things. And then I can put like crock pots and stuff in here. So it's not like I haven't been doing anything, but I'm crashing and burning today. I don't like it. That's the light that's charging for down cellar. All right. Okay, let me bring you up to speed. We moved on Monday, right? <laughs> uh, I don't remember Tuesday. Wednesday was my birthday. Um, oh, I, I remember Tuesday. I got to see the little one in my Nikki for a little while, which was a godsend. Wednesday, I met my sisters for breakfast. Very special morning. Um, we don't get to go out very often together. So that was really nice. And they gave me gifts, which I hate, but I'm grateful for. Just was wonderful. From there, my sister Bernie was going to Chelsea's. Now, you know, Chelsea is my, no longer my stylist, but she was my stylist and is a good friend. And she's the one that has the baby the same age as my baby. So Bernie was going to Chelsea's to get her hair cut. And I stopped over at Chelsea's as a surprise, which was so nice because she's so gracious. And then I met Kathy that had done the staging of the house, another friend, Judy, and a friend, Rebecca, for lunch. We went to a restaurant right down the street from the ranch house that I am sitting in. And then they came over and checked out the ranch house. So my birthday was a wonderful day. You know, one of the things, I almost forgot to tell you, that bothered me the most about leaving Dayton, about leaving School Street, the, the two family, is leaving the neighborhood. This neighborhood is awesome. I'm on a dead end street and it's super quiet. But when you've had the same neighbors for 46 years. So I told you saying goodbye to Debbie and Michael was very, very rough for me. And knowing that I wouldn't be keeping in touch with Kim next door. Well, and then I told you on the last video that I had to text Debbie, one more time and say, I left things in the freezer. I wanted her to just go get them so they didn't go bad and she could toss them. There was no, there was milk. Um, I got, after that video, I got a text saying, if you're home, we'll come over, which is a huge deal, Debbie and Mike. Debbie doesn't venture far for no reason, except Debbie doesn't venture far. And it meant so much. Well, after I said, sure, come on. And it was like, it's like 12 miles, but it's, it's a hike in our area. And I realized the reason she was motivated to do it is because she wanted to return the stuff that was in my refrigerator. I forgot there was three pounds of butter there, some Chick-fil-A sauce. And when I went and looked in the bag after she left, she had put some Hershey's Kisses because she knows I love chocolate. Having her and Mike stop over within 10 hours of the time that I moved away, thinking I would probably never see them again, or if I did, it would be months or years. It was so welcome and it helped a lot. So that was Monday night, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. Thursday, <laughs> I had, um, Chelsea and her baby together with Nick and Nikki's baby um, for a play date for a couple of hours. And I went and ran, ran some errands, um, Home Depot, those kind of things. But I was, again, busy most of the day. Today was get up early, stop by my lawyers, which is back in Dighton. So I still had to go back the way I thought I wouldn't go again and then go completely in the opposite direction to return my Comcast, Verizon, 
um, modem. And of course, it's never easy. The return is easy. The billing part, no. Because now that I return the modem, the cell phone, prices are going to change. And uh, I think right there I started to spiral because it's just, I want to be home. I want to be home. I want to sit. I want it to be done just for a little while. And it's not. It's, it's not going to be because there's so much crap to find a place for. And I don't do well with that, especially when I know it's still temporary. I should be grateful I have a roof over my head. I know that. I can't figure out where I'm going unless I have my GPS on. Somebody had asked if I'm closer or further from my sisters. My house was kind of central to the three sisters, um, or at least the place that we all landed. It was always my house. So there's a little bit of, oh, there's not going to be any more stopovers because this is out of the way. It's on the way to nowhere. It um, is just different. All of this is okay. And I know I'm complaining and I'm sorry, but I want you to see the other side of when Margaret crashes and burns because that's what I'm doing. So I got home and the first thing I had to do was call Comcast. The gentleman at the brick and mortar building gave me my account number and an account number for Mike and Nikki so I could go on to a family plan with them. You know it's not going to happen like that easily. And of course it didn't. And I did call and I knew they wouldn't let me do it, just put myself on somebody else's plan. But I thought I could get it set up and then Mike and Nikki could call, finish it up. No. I ended up hanging up on him because I was going to be rude um, and it was, I could feel it, I could feel it coming. So I reached out to Nikki, they don't even have an account at Comcast in Xfinity, so I don't even know what account number they gave me. So poor Nikki is going to step in and check it out, but I told her just to wait now, let me get one bill, see what it's actually going to cost me and we'll go from there. I don't know why I'm in this pissy mood. There's no reason for it. I've had plenty of sleep. I'm not, if I had my choice of being here or back at School Street House, I would choose here because it's a step along the way and it's a fine place to be, except that I'm afraid of the cellar. I'm gonna have to find a way to get over that, aren't I? In the meantime, I hope you all understand. Tell me that you have been in foul moods for no real reason yourselves because, oh, I am not enjoying this at all. I'm gonna hit, Karen bought me some chocolate covered cherries. That's my favorite chocolate in the world. And I'm gonna sit with my cup of tea and have those. See if that helps. So I have the rest of well, today's almost done. I have the rest of today, Saturday and Sunday. And I think the best thing for me is going to be Monday, getting back into my routine, getting back and spending time with the baby. <sighs> because this, I always had a, a good friend of mine used to say this, and it's always been something that I say, so excuse me, but this sucks grapes. I'm going to go have my chocolate. Hope you all are having a great day. Hope you're not mad that I'm venting at you. I just thought it was important that you see the, the dark side. <laughs> I'm done. <laughs>